Right guys, we're back to another video. I've got the lights tonight. We're back at Ibrox. A monumental game of Rangers take on Motherwell. The last game of the year, the last game before. Big old from Derby. Rangers still nine points behind Celtic. Need to win. Last time we went to Ibrox. Michael Bean's first game. Got a really convincing 3 0 win over Leverkusen and a friendly. So we're back tonight for a competitive game. Since then, Rangers haven't been so convincing, but they've got three wins out of three, which is all you can really ask for, including that incredible dramatic victory up at Aberdeen with two goals in the 95th and 97th minute. Um, also, 3 2 win over Hibs and a 1 0 win over Ross County. Tonight, take on Marwell mid table as they were last year, obviously. Stevie Hamill, the manager, took over after the man was sacked after that embarrassing defeat to Sligo Rovers at the start of the year. Um, Rangers, of course, not. Had their own European embarrassment this year. But in the league, they seem to be getting a bit more consistent under Bill. I do expect him to get that another one tonight, um, which could be really good depending on how results go east or road. Although I do add to say it probably will just grind that out. So that, a bit darker under the tunnel there. So yeah, do imagine Celtic will win, keep it at nine points, which makes it you know, all Trump games are a must win, but even more of a must win for Rangers, really. Um, and that's the you know, second of January game for New Year's traditional derby. Uh, Michael Beale's opted to start Alex Lowry from the start. Highly rated, it'll be nice to see how he gets on. Um, Tillman playing. Ruth and Cholak would expect him back. Not the squad. Um, I don't know if we'll see them before, you know, no, not before, obviously, that's the last game, uh, in the old firm game. But we'll see how he gets on. Devine also drops out. Uh, in comes Barisic back from the World Cup, where they came third with Croatia. So yeah, been interesting tie. Three match reduction is going to be 2-1 Rangers, and then it'll be another close game. Excited to see how it gets on. I'll see you when we get to Ibrox. Just before we go to Ibrox, here's a reminder to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are reminded every time we have an episode of Under the Lights. Leave a comment if any you know, criticism around the games you want to see me attend, you know, in Scotland, England, or anywhere really. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff. But share the video if you, if you enjoy the content. But yeah, like I said previously, see you guys at Ibrox. It might be a sellout tonight because that subway was jam packed. I wasn't expecting it to be a sellout, but see if we get in there. Thankfully, we're up the top under the cover. And that should keep us dry. Just done, just in time for the
Time to an Angels should be more really great performance. Front four of Ken, Tillman, Morelos, and Lowry all linking up really well, looking really good. Should be more, and um, still a bit dodgy at the back of the passing. Which I'm sure you've seen for some of the cuts in the first half. Vital result for Angels with Celtic also 2 0 up at half time at the current moment. Just going to go back into the second half, hopefully, a few more goals to keep you warm on a winter's day. See you there. Walking off is a good sign. Always go coming on. See if Morales makes the game after a few years.
Full time, 3 0. Pretty convincing performance from Rangers, but they're still, still just not clicking like, like they would maybe a year, yes, no, a year, 18 months, two years ago. Um, three good goals, three bits of quality, but there's a lot of slackness still there. Up forward, they look good, but defensively, there's still a lot of issues, and you can see that there's a slackness in the passing. They don't go for the throat. Celtic did it happens, we're in 4 0 tonight, Rangers. Probably could have got more than three. Um, a few slap passes at the back. But they went off, um, although apparently there's no real concern. I thought it might be at the end who didn't seem happy, which is a good sign. He's not happy with just getting the victories. He wants the performances he demands. Yeah, um, go ahead and into the old form next week. I mean, it's it's 50 50 really. Um, what sort of Rangers are going to show up? You could get a really, really confident performance that. Season one, or if the slack, because if the slack, Celtic will take take uh, control and punish them, like Mullerwell weren't able to today, which is a big concern. Um, I feel like the first eleven are so so much better than the options from the bench. It's the difference between Rangers and Celtic. Celtic have a much stronger bench, and squad filling players. That was like Rangers when they won the title a few years ago. That was a different then, but it's flipped in its head now. So yeah, you can see it, you can see it. Um, Johnny's a big one for Rangers. You get through this Celtic game with either a draw or a win and go from there. Um, a defeat and it's done, but either way, January you need to improve the squad, you need to start spending some money, you need to get first team players, because Rangers spent too many windows adding squad players here, there and everywhere when they need first team quality players. And I do believe they'll get that, I don't believe Bill comes in if he doesn't have assurances of that. But it's a massive, massive game Monday in terms of this season. Because Rangers need to avoid defeat to have any hope of this new championship. And Celtic, Celtic look like a juggernaut. I don't see much stopping them, especially if Rangers don't beat them. Um, I don't see them dropping many points elsewhere, so it just adds intensity. Um, but um, I'll be there. I'll have a video up for you from uh, the score. Um, so yeah, please do remember to hit that like button, subscribe, notifications bell as always. Um, I have a few little videos. For the old sun, so keep your eyes on them. Keep the notifications built on for them. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a good new year.